Hi, I'm James Schilling Law. I'm here at Connection, Nexion Travel Group's annual conference, and we're here on board Celebrity Equinox, and it's the closing day of this, but we wanted to get a chance to talk with Jackie Friedman, who's president of Nexion Travel Group. We love, love to sit down with Jackie at this event and Asta. We're going to talk about Asta as well, because she is chair of Asta for the next couple of years, I believe. And so we're going to talk about all that, how this conference went, where Nexion is heading, and a whole whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Jackie, it's always great to see you here. Uh, I wouldn't miss this. This is an amazing conference. I always enjoy it. Now we're at sea, right? We are at sea. It's been a fantastic eight days, uh, just full of energy. Uh, you can just feel it in the air. The advisors are excited. The suppliers are excited. My team's excited. Uh, it really what is what it's all about. You know, the name Connection implies that it's just uh, a family and a community, and there was no doubt we were that this week. And especially we just had the closing session. It was lovely. Now let's talk about where Nexion Travel Group stands today in terms of the numbers. How many travel advisors do you have now in the U.S. and Canada, roughly? So we're just under 5,500, uh, just over 5,000 in the U.S., and 400 about 450-ish um, in Canada. Okay. So uh, we're growing intentionally, uh, but we're definitely seeing growth, both in terms of uh, new advisors as well as in terms of sales. So you have seen growth over the past year. And in general, uh, during the pandemic, did you see growth? We did. Initially, it surprised me. But then when I stopped to think about it, people had time during the pandemic. The other thing that happened during the pandemic is there was a greater awareness of the value of a travel advisor since so many consumers needed to rely on their travel advisor to help them get through it. And what we found that was very interesting is that those advisors, or sorry, those consumers uh, realized that this could be a great career and they had the time. Some of them may have uh, been furloughed from their day jobs. So they had the time to really learn and we found some really, really talented uh, advisors come to us just before and during the pandemic. Well, I, we have talked to some of those advisors. Uh, we talked to uh, Seth, I believe, who was one of your winners here, and he got into the business. Uh, we have a video on him uh, just a year or so ago, and it's been an amazing story because I think all of a sudden this is a very attractive profession, right? You know, it really is. and. Uh, you know, as you know, I am very involved with ASTA. I'm chair of the board. ASTA's done a tremendous amount of great work in raising the profile and awareness of the travel advisor. And that's doing multiple things. Number one, consumers are asking for travel advisors more than ever before. And also they realize they do exist. I love to travel. I love people. Maybe that's a great career for me. No, it really is super, and it's one of the best times. We'll talk about that in a second because I wanted to ask you a little more about that. Um, now, Nexion is how many years old is Nexion now? So Nexion's 28 years old. We started in 1995 and going strong. So, And you've been there for a, few, a number of those years, right? Yeah, I started in Nexion very early in 2004, uh, shortly after Sabre acquired Nexion. I was with Sabre, and uh, they asked me. It was the call that I'm so glad I answered. Uh, they asked me if I wanted to go and uh, run this new business they had just acquired called Nexion. And how has it evolved, in your view, over the years since you, took, when, since you started? I mean, it has... Uh, involved tremendously. It started in San Jose. It was a technology company. Uh, One that, that where you could actually use multiple GDSs, if I recall. Yeah. yeah correct. I mean, it came in uh, reaction to the airlines capping and eventually cutting commissions uh, back in the mid 90s and it gave advisors. Uh, an opportunity to run their business at a lower cost. Right. They could give up their offices, their ARC appointments, their GDS contracts, and they could be successful uh, finding new ways to earn revenues at the same time reducing their costs. So we've come a long way well, since. It's a very then. different organization now. And then, of course, when you know travel leaders acquired you, and it became much more a, a real traditional host agency, uh, not not as focused on it's. You got great technology, but you got all these other programs. You have what? Yeah. No. I mean, it has. It was the greatest thing for us uh, when we became part of Travel Leaders Group at the time, now Internova Travel Group. Uh, because it really is an organization committed to the success of travel advisors, regardless of how they choose to operate their businesses. Uh, so 
everything that we do, we're a, a pure host agency. And what I mean by that is that we don't have a retail arm. We don't sell travel directly to consumers. Mm-hmm. So everything that we do uh, is to help our advisors be successful with the right technology, the right education, the right marketing, the right support, and the right network and community. So uh, we've definitely grown. Uh, we have seen the travel advisor evolve you know i talked about that at the conference that at one point it was a very transactional type role and uh, a true travel agent an agent of the airlines but today they are entrepreneurs they are business owners uh, and they are so blessed because they get to do it in an industry that they love and uh, when you can combine building a business around something that you passionately like to do uh, it's great to see the magic happen. And you're well positioned in helping them do that, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're all about. Yeah. So uh, there's nothing that makes me prouder. We had a record number of award winners this year. And uh, just seeing them commit to something, put their hearts into it, put their efforts into it. Uh, and it certainly has paid off for them and for us. Can you let's highlight a few programs you've introduced over the past year that really have resonated with your members, the marketing, technology, uh, uh, anything that you can think of? Sure. So I'm going to start with our escape marketing program. Uh, these, this is an omni-channel program with a print magazine as well as digital components uh, where we really uh, enable our advisors to get their brand, their call to action in front of their customers. We build our program on top of the Travel Leaders Network infrastructure so that as long as they're engaged, capital E, they can then take advantage of all of the next gen marketing programs. In addition to that, we added a digital social toolkit so that they uh, can get some additional content uh, to help their social media presence. We also just launched a program called Forward Motion. Mm. And Forward Motion is an accountability program. So using our Nexion Town technology, uh, they can go into the group. uh, They can put themselves out there and find people uh, that may be good at something that they would love some help with, some someone to be that accountability partner. And at the same time, they may be able to offer themselves out to someone else. So it's a peer-to-peer program, and it just builds, again, that community. It was the old mentor program, but it's gone on steroids now, right? Well, it's on steroids because our mentor program paired a mentee with a mentor. This, this pairs people uh, with different potential mentors depending on what it is, but it also gives them an opportunity to be the mentor. So we have people new to the industry, but they may be marketing geniuses. You know, they may have come from other businesses, established business owners. So they have a lot to teach folks that may have been established in the travel industry, but may be a little newer to business ownership. So it's really great to see that dynamic working. Okay. Any other programs you want to highlight? I think, uh, obviously, our immersive journeys have been a tremendous success. Yeah, we Uh, had a a, a guy who presented on that today, uh, one of your Nexion uh, travel advisors, and he talked about how much the sales had increased when they went on one of these immersive journeys, right? You know, it's very interesting. Uh, You know, Carl was one of our success stories, but... In general, what we do is we take that group of people that attend the trip. It's a combination of a fam trip on a product with building a business skill. Uh, That particular one happened to be marketing and social media. So uh, we were able to create a lot of content on board. And he took that when he got back. And from that very event has built almost $570,000 in sales on the particular supplier. It's pretty uh, amazing. Yeah. It really was amazing. And it's what we tell people all the time is take something, learn it, and then do something with it. So those are just a few of the programs that uh, have been put out there to help our advisors just reach that next level. Absolutely. Now, you're getting all these great programs. You're getting. You're seeing growth. You're seeing additional. What does the future hold for Nexion? What do you want to see it become? I mean, I want to see it become even a stronger organization. I'd love more and more people uh, to come into the industry. I want to never hear these words uttered 
travel agents? Do they still exist? Uh, you know, so we have an organization that enables us to help travel advisors reach their full potential. No, so, absolutely. That, that, and, and you've got all the education and training. It's one of the groups I recommend if somebody's coming from outside the business and they want to know yeah. how to get it started. You have this Travel Leaders of Tomorrow program right. that kind of prepares you to become a travel advisor. Yeah, I mean, the program's been around 10 years. Nexion embraces that program. Uh, they are a sister to us and share a lot of the same resources. But what we've found is the folks that take the time to go through that program at the beginning get such a solid foundation and the confidence and this community again from the very beginning that we've seen tremendous uh, tremendous results and we're seeing younger people come into the industry uh, I want to see that continue uh, by attracting them we have programs for military veterans and spouses of active military so we're really looking for creative and new ways to bring folks into the travel industry but also to continue building the, um, the businesses of those that are already affiliated with us. Well, I did an interview with Kara, who, who had given Next Talk on fees, and I had to almost fell out of my chair because we've been talking about fees forever. I mean, I did a, uh, a, a big cover story on it in one of the magazines I used to be with. So this is, a, and here is a young person in her 20s, 30s who is, you know, talking about it and has embraced it. Yep, still in her 20s. And, uh, you know, that's really, really the key because we learn uh, the role changes, the industry changes, uh, and it's becoming more and more professional. So I would love to see a day where everyone in the travel industry is well compensated for the work that they do for their clients. But it starts with them. They have to have that confidence to be able to uh, you know, articulate their value to their customer and put it out there that they are charging professional fees. Absolutely. Now, what about yourself? I mean, do you still f enjoy the challenge of running next in yourself? Uh, what are what are kind of the opportunities you see in your future? I mean, you're doing one. We're going to talk about it in a second. Uh -huh. The Asta chair. But, but what do you see? Uh, I mean, I love what I'm doing. And they say, if you love what you're doing, it doesn't feel like work. Uh, so I don't see myself doing anything different as far as Nexion is concerned in the next few years uh, because I'm passionate about what I do. At the same time, I love being part of this industry that we're all blessed to be a part of. Uh, so I have, I've always been engaged with different organizations. I'm on the CLIA Star Board, uh, the Travel Institute Board of Trustees, uh, a number of partner advisory boards. Uh, but right now my current role with ASTA as chair of the board, I'm in the first of two years, uh, I think is a great uh, pinnacle of, of no, my no, career. And, and actually, when you were named chairman, I said this is uh, this was the obvious choice because you've been so involved with Aston, so involved with the industry, and so passionate about it that I couldn't think of a better person to do it. Well, thanks, James, uh, because I truly believe in what Aston is doing, and uh, you know I want also uh, to get to a point where travel advisors, travel agency owners, can't even dream about not being part of Aston because it is our trade association. Now, what have you focused on in the few you got? You were named chairman in May, but what have, what have, what have you done so far? <laughs> what have I done so far? No, really, it comes down to three words, okay. uh, you know, as far as uh, I'm concerned. So the first thing is acquire, bringing new folks into the association. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a new future uh, travel professional program so folks in travel schools can get engaged with ASTA. Obviously, the independent contractor membership category, the core category, premium category, regardless of where you are in your travel business journey, support our trades association. So that is acquiring, getting uh, advisors as well as proud partners, getting suppliers uh, behind advisors because there's nothing that says I'm committed to the trade more than putting your time and your investment behind helping ASTA travel advisors grow. So that's acquire. Then we need to engage. Uh, ASTA's putting out some amazing programs. Their River Cruise Expo, their Caribbean Showcase. Which is a real, we've been, we were there together and it was amazing. And, and, uh, and Jack, Jackie and I have a history on the rivers because we we, 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 we've been on the rivers a lot, a lot of different river cruises, including your own, uh, the, the, the ship yeah, you yeah. christened for Ama Viola. Exactly. And, and she's actually been a correspondent for us. We'll not talk about that. I have. <laughs> I really, when I retire, I want James's job. <laughs> well, you're never going to retire. So, and, and same with me. So That's you're going to have to fight over 
over that one, but we'll see. Yeah. But but that was fun, and so that River Cruise Expo was really been a home run. Yeah, right? no, the River Cruise Expo is amazing. Uh, record numbers of attendance, engagement, and results. Uh, so by staying engaged. Uh, not only with the wonderful events, uh, you know, the global convention, uh, the premium business summit, corporate advisory council, wherever you are, uh, there's a place for you at ASTA. But also the chapter system, that's the uh, true heart of ASTA. And uh, it's a great opportunity to just engage with folks in your local area. And then the third is retain. Mm. You know, once people join ASTA, they're engaged, they see the value then we want to have them stay as members. So uh, my three letters are acquire, engage, and retain. Absolutely. Great, great objectives for your two-year tenure. Uh, uh, and I'm sure you're going to do a great job. Uh, do you think now is the best time to be a travel advisor? Ironically, it seems like it's a growing profession. It seems like it's a profession people want to get into. I've been talking about this for 10 years and telling people about it. And finally, somebody, the, the, after COVID or whatever it was, pandemic, the light sort of hit a lot of people and realized this is actually a pretty good profession to be in. Right? Yeah, I mean... I've always thought travel advisors were a great career, but now more than ever, number one, consumers understand it and value it more. They understand the need to go to an expert. I mean, would you dream of cutting your own hair or drilling your own teeth or in some cases even doing your own taxes? You uh, hire an expert to help you with that. So uh, it is a great career. There's so much information out there, but a travel advisor can really help their clients navigate uh, you know, through the water. So uh, we're seeing more and more people. We've had record numbers coming to us uh, over the last couple of years because they believe that people are wanting to travel and they want to be a part of that. So. No, that's fantastic. And it really is. And it's fun to watch as the profession has regained its, you know, what's not to love about this profession. I mean, you can do something wonderful. You're selling people something they want to buy, yeah. which is not the case with a lot of products. Yeah and you're doing something that you're passionate about. We have fun in this industry. It is contagious and there's no cure. Uh, absolutely, and people stay in it and you can make a decent living and actually have fun doing it. And then next year, you're gonna have some fun because next year you announced here that uh, you're gonna be going being back in New Orleans with Connection, right? We are going back to New Orleans. We've done it there a couple of times before. It's always high energy, it's always a lot of fun and uh, we can see the pent up demand also uh, of our advisors that are already getting ready to go for next year. So we expect to sell out really quickly and very excited. Can't wait. And I know you had a wonderful speaker this year, Donda Ritzenthaler, oh. who kind of brought the house down, who always does when she recently resigned from, retired from uh, Celebrity, the, the ship we're on here. Uh, but she was an amazing speaker and she always has been. But this was, you know, I said, you got, yeah, I think you got a new career here as a motivational speaker, yeah. right? No, I mean, I love Donda. She's a dear friend, and I couldn't have think, thought of a better way uh, to end Connection uh, because her energy uh, and her enthusiasm and her passion, and most importantly, her attitude. She really left people uh, on a high uh, just the way we wanted to. So, Dondra, thanks for all that you did, and uh, you still got it, my friend, and you made a great, great, great impression on so many people. Absolutely. Well, anything else you want to sell, uh, tell your, uh, your Nexion members as, as well as your ASTA members now? Just want to say thank you. Uh, you know, it's because of you and your work that you do for your clients uh, every day that has really helped us as an industry raise awareness for the value of working with a travel advisor. Uh, so to Nexion advisors or anyone that might want to learn more about being part of Nexion, we'd love to chat with you uh, because this is a family and we'd love for you to be part of it. Uh, for all travel advisors, we want to make sure that you are supporting ASTA. And finally, uh, I want to give a shout out to all of our uh, Internova businesses, all of my colleagues across Internova, uh, because we get the best of everything. We have our small family feeling, uh, but we have the power of a larger organization. So 
Well, Jackie, once again, it's been wonderful to be here. Uh, last cruise, it's been amazing. Looking forward to New Orleans next year. Uh, I, and then, and, and we're going to see each other a few times, I'm sure, since then. We have the ASTA, ASTA uh, you know, uh, annual convention, the ASTA, uh -huh. as well as the, the River Cruise Expo, okay. which is turning into a home run. And I'm sure I'm going to see you on a few other places, too. I'm sure. Well, James, as always, thank you so much. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.